Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips on how to be a successful ship shopper. Number one, you got to put yourself on the schedule. Pick off your hour slots that you want to work for the day. Get yourself on the schedule. New jobs start rolling out at 6 a.m. When you claim a job, let's say you're on the schedule from 10 to 2 and you got one that rolls in between 10 and 11 to be delivered and you accept that order, go back into your schedule and take yourself off of that time slot because it's possible that you could get offered another job between 10 and 11. Some people are rock stars and they can do doubles. I think after you hit your 10th shop, you can do double orders. Personally, I just haven't gone there yet. I probably won't. I just feel like it's complicated. I'm not gonna say never, because maybe some day down the road I'll decide I'm a rock star too. Take yourself off that time slot and then you won't get offered any more jobs within that time frame. Number two, make sure you turn on your notifications for the Shipped Shopper app. I made this mistake when I first started, didn't turn that on and I was constantly finding myself having to go in and refresh the available orders feed. If you turn on your notifications for Shipped, then when a new job is offered to you, you'll get a ding. It's not the greatest ding because I've still missed it. But turn your volume all the way up and turn on those notifications. Number three, always wear your shipped shirt or your shipped gear. Although it's not required, why not? I find that the employees of the store you're shopping at are more willing to help you out very quickly because they know that we're on time schedules. Showing that you're a ship shopper kind of lets them know and also when you ask like 20 questions in one shop, which I've maybe not 20, but I've had a few, you kind of have that excuse like, oh, I'm shopping for this other person. It's really not me asking for all this stuff that I can't find. When you go up to the register, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Hey, you know, this is a shipped order. They know right away. They see your shirt. I think it makes the customers feel a little bit more comfortable. If somebody shows up and they're not in a shipped shirt, I'm not saying that you can't, but I guess if it was me on the other end, I'd probably feel more comfortable if somebody came with a shipped shirt on. It just looks more official, and it's free advertising. People see it. Maybe they look into it say what's that shipped stuff I keep seeing these shoppers everywhere because guess what the more people that sign up for shipped grocery delivery then the more jobs we get right it's a win-win number four if you know you're gonna work let's say it's Sunday and you're like yeah I'm gonna work Monday for sure I'm gonna work tomorrow I can go in put myself on the schedule for Monday on Sunday, if anybody places any orders, I'll be on the schedule for Monday. I can claim them the day before. But, unless you want to get dinged or notified or anything throughout the night, let's say you fall asleep at 10, 10 o'clock and somebody places an order at 10.30 and it rolls through and dings you and you don't catch it, your acceptance rate will go down slightly if you don't accept your order that you're offered when you're on the schedule. So, to avoid this, make sure you take yourself off the schedule when you go to bed. Then when you get up in the morning, you can put yourself back on. That way, you're not being offered any orders when you're sleeping or not by your phone or whatever the case may be. You only have like 60 seconds, I think, to claim an order. So you want to be on the schedule when you are available to grab your phone and accept those orders. And last but not least, number five, get yourself a cooler bag. 
And after 30 shops, if you saw my other video, I got a shipped one from them. It's really good to have, especially in the summer, in warm climate areas of the country, wherever you're delivering. Right now in Michigan, it's a little freezing. It's getting cold. So I'm not quite as worried about it in the winter. I'll go in when I accept an order. Before I get to the store, I'll go into the order like I'm going to shop and I just look through to see kind of what items are there and just, you know, prepare myself when I head in. If there's a ton of cold stuff or like it's just a really big order and you're like, I'm going to be in the store for a while, it's good to take the cooler bag and keep all that cold stuff in there. I do add those things last. I shop for everything else, even if I'm going back and forth. That's my strategy is keep the stuff in the cooler and the freezer the longest. And I'll run around the store. I'm like, hey, I'm getting extra steps. Get yourself a cooler bag. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I'm uploading new videos, you got to hit that bell too. And that is my top five tips on how to be a successful shipped shopper. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Top five. If you have. Mm. Last but not least, the blood. He's a sick.